This is winterizing a camper with amateur radio equipment. Electrical. Well, if you're like me, you live up in cold country. And believe me, in Wisconsin, it can get cold. So, we have to winterize. In the winter, ice crystals can grow on just about everything. That's not very good for electrical. In my case, I have a camper that I have to winterize. First thing we have to do is pack up all the amateur radio equipment that we have in the camper. That all goes into totes. That's the easy part. Anything that's going to get subjected to the minus 24 degrees Fahrenheit that we have up here in Wisconsin, we definitely want to cover up. So in my case, I start with the coaxial cables. There's four coaxial cables in this hole, two for HF and two for VHF and UHF. So what I do is pretty simple. I just take the coaxial cables, wrap them in a shop rag, and then I put that in a plastic bag. Put a rubber band around the plastic bag. And stuff it the best you can back in the hole. You stuff it back in the hole so the squirrels don't get in in the winter. The battery part isn't as easy. In my case, I have it in a battery box. I open up the battery box and disconnect the power from the battery. The 120 volt power line has already been disconnected from the camper. Just like the coaxial cables before, I wrap them in a shop rag. I take the positive terminal first and put that in the center of the rag. The negative is the last one to go in the rag. That all goes into a plastic bag and again gets tied with a rubber band. All to keep those connectors as dry as possible. Once the battery is disconnected, I remove the battery from the camper. As long as we're on this end of the trailer, we might as well remove the LP tank as well. What I put where the LP tank was is a wire core. It keeps the snow from collecting in the tank ring and on the tarp that will be covering the camper. Then I put the trailer cable, the battery bag, the cables that went to the battery, and the LP tank hose and put them all together and wrap them up for the winter. I then bring the ham radio equipment and the battery from the camper into the house. Again, the radio equipment is kept in a tote. As for the battery, I have a little carpeted area where I can set the battery box. Then to connect the tender. The tender will keep the charge over the winter. Making sure that negative is connected to negative and positive is connected to positive. You also want to make sure that you're in a well ventilated area. And plug that into the AC line. Put the cover back on the battery and we'll see it in spring. And that's winterizing a camper with amateur radio equipment, electrical. I hope this video has been helpful and 73 from N9LVS.